Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Last year in August, India received a major boost to its aviation sector after the Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by PM Narendra Modi has approved the Tata Airbus deal for 56 twin turboprop C295 medium transport aircraft which will replace the old Avro 748 aircraft of the Indian Air Force. The process to replace the aging fleet of 50 HS 748 Avro aircraft began nearly nine years ago when on July 24, 2012, an RFI for 56 transport aircraft was issued. The HS 748 Avro fleet has been in service with Indian Air Force since the early 1960s and was much overdue for the replacement. The most important part of this deal, valued $2.4 billion, is that the public sector company HL has been excluded with an objective to promote the private sector in the field of aerospace engineering. This will be the first full spectrum Make in India aerospace program in the private sector involving development of a complete industrial ecosystem from manufacture to assembly, test and qualification to delivery and maintenance over the complete life cycle of the aircraft. DASL has been slowly and steadily making commendable progress in the aerospace sector. It already has a joint venture with Sukhoski Aircraft Corporation to manufacture airframes of S-92 helicopters for civil and military markets. It has entered into joint venture with American Aerospace and Defense Major Lockheed Martin to manufacture aerostructures for the C-130 Hercules transport aircraft and its upgraded variants. It also manufactures wing for F-16 fighter aircraft. DSL has also entered into an agreement to produce structures for Pilotus PC-12NG aircraft up to 2026. The Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited, another joint venture between Tata and Boeing, which will be the sole manufacturer of the airframes of the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter that Boeing will market globally. Given the impressive and credible record of TSL, the decision by Airbus Defence and Space to select Indian company to be its partner in C295 project appears to be the right one. As per Tata Airbus deal, 16 of the 56 C295 aircrafts will be delivered in flyaway conditions from Spain within 48 months of the signing of the contract and 40 aircrafts will be manufactured in India by Tata Consortium within 10 years of signing of the contract. The new manufacturing facility of Tata is likely to be co-located at Dholera. The Dholera International Airport is a greenfield airport project in Gujarat, India. It will be built near Navagam in Dholera Taluk of Ahmedabad district. The project site is spread over 1,426 hectares and about 80 kilometers from Ahmedabad and around 20 kilometers from Dholera Special Investment Region. The Gujarat government has planned to develop the land close to proposed Dholera International Airport for MRO and aviation related other facilities. MRO stands for Maintenance, Repair and Overhauling. It's not only the Tata Airbus manufacturing unit that will be set up here, but the aviation zone in Dolera will include an aviation academy, flight training institute, and MRO facilities for airframes, engines, and CND checks. The Dolera airport will have two runways of 4,000 meters and 2,910 meters. These would be essential to the flight testing facility for the Tata Airbus complex. After the completion of delivery, the subsequent aircraft manufactured in India can also be exported to countries which are cleared by the Government of India. The C-295 MW aircraft is a multi-role tactical transport aircraft in 5 to 10 ton category. The aircraft is capable of performing a wide variety of missions effectively, which includes tactical and logistical transport, parachute and cargo drop, medical evacuation and maritime patrol. It has capacity of 73 troops or 48 para troops or 12 stretcher intensive care medevac or 27 stretcher medevac with 4 medical attendants. 
Normally, its maximum payload is 7,050 kg, but can be overloaded to 9,250 kg. It is capable to take off from short runways of around one kilometer in length. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.